on, man. Come on, Venom. Fuck him up. Fuck up that Shadow Moon dude. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, hey, everybody. It's, uh, the real Nerf Scarlet Spider here. Watching a fan fight of, uh, Shadow Moon versus Venom. And, uh, <laughs> you thought the upcoming, uh, UFC with CM Punk coming out was gonna be cool. But, uh, nah, this is cooler. Anyway, I'll be right back, uh, talking about, uh, Cloak and Dagger se episodes 1 and 2 for season, well, 1. So, uh, Zwip. And come on, dude, you got him! Ow. You so got him! Everything hurts, and this webbing is really tight. And that is why you guys should stay in school. I have a PhD in the multiverse. Yeah, and you didn't get it in New York, so kind of a no. Anyway, uh, sorry about that, guys. I uh, just had to finish up uh, all these guys. Uh, Handy, can you get the can you pan the camera down? All right, nice guy. Oh, uh, so much webbing. Ooh, I like this one. Um, if I had time to do a Bob Ross thing, I could have told you the fluid integrity and all that. But since I got no battery left, uh, I'll just get this uh, two-episode basis when it comes to Cloak and Dagger. And uh, yeah, apparently uh, Dr. terror has got a New York branch of uh, villains. Also, what's a Hess mess? Because apparently they, they've been saying that in unison. It's just weird. Hess mess. Hess mess. Hess mess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just gonna go out of limb and say it's a lieutenant or something, so I'm gonna switch the battery and get into the actual review, so I'll uh, be right back. Yes, mess. Oh, you guys are just weird. Okay, with the uh, entries out of the way, uh, I kinda don't have a cool uh, camera saying, so Spider Transition! Uh, thanks, Annie. Uh, Cloak and Dagger, Season 1, Episodes 1 through 3. Uh, I'm currently watching, uh, 3, so I'll come back with the final results on that on the post-cred. So far, um, Tyrone and, um, yeah, I, I said in the Stardust, uh, preview that I might, uh, look up her name. Uh, fortunately, I can't in time, so, uh, link in the description for their IMDBs, my bad aside, but, uh, the first couple episodes were mostly, um, Dagger-focused, uh, mainly because she had the most, um, ties to her childhood at first. I think the bulk of, uh, I think the back half of, uh, the singles, like, I think through episodes four and six, if I remember the title cards correctly, that they might be more Tyrone-focused. Uh, but comic history, my personal history with them, uh, like I said in, I think, the React trailer, card to it. Thank you, Andy. <sighs> this is why these guys suck at it. We're gonna get out! Hespel! We'll find us! Yeah, yeah, she's not. Anyway, yeah, I gotta figure out who that Hespel guy is, or is that a girl? Pretty sure it's a... It's probably a girl. Anyway, yeah, um, and if Retro's watching this, uh, is she like your black cat or your silver sable? Because she's got a huge following of guys with military gear, so I'm kind of leaning towards silver sable on this one. Anyway, um, the first episode basically shows them coming together, their childhoods, and how basically their power has been interlinked to one what the show has led to believe, which, uh, is kind of more or less what's happening in the comics. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a retcon, because Marvel likes to retcon most of their backstories to be more of the live-action counterparts, a la Tony, uh, after, uh, the MCU movies of him came out, so... I don't know, that might be the same case here. Um, I like the backdrop not being in a New York area, but more of a New Orleans area, given that Retro just went there and got totally disappointed, I guess, on the finish when it comes to WrestleMania 34. Am I right? Yeah, uh, no, nah, Beach Ball City, buddy. Beach Ball City. Yeah, apparently he really loved the Beach Ball there. That's, that's all I could hear. Buck Suplex City. Yeah, and, and apparently he really hates Brock Lesnar now. A lot of, this guy's a weird wrestling fan. And yeah, Pete started out in wrestling. Uh, fun fact for the day. Uh, hi, Shinzera, if you know that. Um, so yeah, uh, another weird uh, thing um, that I think is retro... A lot of ties to retro in this, I guess. Was it Toku or Marit Maritoku? Alright, thanks, bye. Is that the sheriff... Um, again, I didn't have time to get her name down as well. But I did get her previous work from IMDb. She's uh, the Yellow Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Thunder. And from the look of it, she's got a pretty strong um, subplot. Just basically trying to find Tyrone and Dagger and see where their shenanigans lie there. It hasn't really come into like, a fever pitch. Like them coming together and to like stop something going on with Roxxon. Because uh, if the IGN and I guess my analysis is that Roxxon is going to be heavily focused... 
which is more or less true in the comics. Most of their villains and some of their backstories and some of their powers did generate from Roxxon, so that's kind of a double confirm there. As for their live action appearances, uh, they're a little different. It looks like Tyrone had the abilities a lot longer than Dagger. Like, she just used it on Killing a Guy two episodes ago. And, um, it's, it's getting a lot weirder from here. Um, their families are completely different. I think that, uh, Tyrone's mom and dad are more traditional, you know, middle class kind of family. Just trying to get, you know, do their 9 to 5s, get things done. While also mourning uh, Tyrone's brother who died in a gang uh, thing very early on before the show started. So, which also has a lot of flashbacks. I think in episode 3 that expressed that as well. But weirdly... Uh, Dagger is seeing it as her adult self, so I don't know if she's more confused, um, or frustrated, but it's definitely, uh, showing off that they're definitely trying to learn each other's abilities, trying to get, uh, coordinated and stuff, and if anyone knows the bare basics of who they are, they are closely tied together, uh, both of them heavily need each other, Dagger because she can basically give you life energy, uh, basically heal, a lot of addictions. Yeah, the whole thing back in the day when they were starting, it was more or less like a, a drug addiction um, metaphor. So I want to thank Comic Pop for that. So I uh, think Andy, yeah. Uh, car to, I guess, their rundown of their first couple of runs of the book. So uh, you guys get an idea of like, their base level and their powers and stuff. Uh, a lot of hilarious, uh, I guess, uh, 70s comic problems. Or is it 80s comics? 80s! Thank you, Retro. Uh, comic problems like uh, they can't say mafia or something like they had a stranglehold and that kind of copyrights for the longest time. I have no clue why, but um, yeah. Overall, um, so far uh, the first three episodes aren't that bad. Um, I'll probably if you give me a like to this video, I'll do a um full season review. Uh, word of warning that will require me to binge the entire series and try to do a lot more um uh, research to get everyone's names correct. Uh, so I don't uh, botch it like I did here for this quick uh, rundown of the first couple episodes. So with that all said, um, I gotta go tie up more of these guys because they are just squirming. <laughs> Bob, we can do it. We can do it. No, Davey, I can't. Look at John. He's He whipped his mouth. Yeah, I'm amazed that hasn't dissipated yet. Uh, anyway, so um, I'll be right back for the post credit to see what this hiss mess thing is all about. And um, I guess a preview to Retro's next review. Because, in case you haven't noticed, uh, the camera timecode is getting down to, like, not as much. So, it might be going back to mobile uh, uh, vlogs for now. Which, I think that Bat Family might be doing a mini week-long uh, catch-up on, uh, I guess, past um, DVD reviews. So, if that's the case, that's cool. Uh, end cred coming up. And if this is the end card alongside the uh, post cred, uh, go to my webs here to subscribe to the channel. Or go to my cute as hell mask here uh, to uh, watch Retro's previous video on something else cuter than myself, apparently. Uh, his cats, uh, double confirming that there are new cats at the Crack House. I mean, <laughs> Retro House. Sorry, I almost gave away uh, Retro's last name. So, uh, with that said, uh, tell me where your boss is. No, I can't. I can't. She'll kill us all, man. She'll kill us all. Terrawan. Oh, Terrawan. Oh, Terrawan. And Warren, we have another cadaver for the bounty. Surprise! Okay, this, this is, is actually the weird. end card, I think. Um, hope you like the beard, cause I'm probably gonna shave it later. The uh, I think next week. Um, just want to make a quick announcement before this video is over. Uh, that I have a Instagram now, so that will be in the description below, as always. Um, so if you want to follow me, please go ahead and do so. I'm gonna need it, cause I need a lot of help. Uh, getting my Instagram off the ground, but uh, till then, uh, I think uh, next week's uh, Bat Family uh, videos, which yes, they are going to be real Nerf Bat Family videos. I want to call it, I think, Bat Quickies or uh, the Bat Family Gauntlet or something like that. Um, so let me know in the comments down below, or hopefully, if I get the voting poll for that as well, I'll probably think of better names by then. So uh, yeah, take a look at this beard and uh, follow me on Instagram. Later.